Alright, so hi guys, I'm gonna be doing a little BJD rant video. It's not gonna be anything special. Um, this weekend, the 8th, I actually went to Delta Pal, so I saw a couple of stuff. I'm gonna say that I saw I saw the reverse auction model. It was a tie. Um, the tie was from the one in which she had the Sweet Dream uh, version also released at the same time. So, um, she was wearing that particular kimono, and the only thing that made her different was the face-up and her... She had an extra cape and a beret to go with it. It was really pretty, um... And besides the reverse auction model, they had the one-offs, of course. And the one-offs were, um, there were five of them, and I only remember... One, two. I remember only four of them because one of them was a boy and I don't remember who the boy was. Uh, the other ones were Lisa Lot, there was an MSD Yui, um, there was a little Lorena, and they also had a girl Michelle. So it was pretty interesting, it was really pretty, but I just wasn't seeing myself actually wanting one, so I kinda... I actually gave my one-off sheet to somebody else, and that person put it in for Lisa Lot. Um, Moving away from that, we've got the uh, Revival series, and the Revival series this time around was all uh, Tokyo Shonen, since Tokyo Dolpa is releasing Tokyo Shonen dolls. Um, so they had... Uh, I know for sure that a lot of people probably put in for the Ami Ayase doll and the original Touch of Anajun. Um, they had, I think, two more dolls and they were both boys. One of them was the uh, original GR body boy and um, the other one I don't remember at all, I'm sorry. But yeah, so that's what I've seen. Um, moving away from that, um, Pal didn't really seem all that interesting. It was really, really small. Um, I'm amazed that people can cram in that much, but uh, amazingly not a lot of people even bothered buying stuff. Um, I can see that um, a lot of people probably wanted to see the Tokyo Shonen doll that was coming up. Usually at PAL they kind of uh, explain the new body and they show you the new body and everything, but um, it, it didn't happen so a lot of people came, went home early. And yeah, it was a little bit disappointing, but you know, it happens I guess. Um, as for the Tokyo doll releases, they were released. Uh, we knew about them like the day before Delta Pal, so everybody got excited and they started conserving money because um, the dolls are very expensive this time around. Um, so what did they? Uh, what they're releasing are the Tokyo Shonen series dolls, and um, everybody has a completely new body. Um, as for Jen, Jen's face is a completely new mold, and I don't know about the other two boys because I have not really been ins inspecting them closely, but. As for the SD17 body, it's a completely new skin color, so um, I don't. I'm not gonna even bother because I just want the. I just want an SD17 body, but um, since it's a completely new skin color and I won't have anything to match it, I'm just gonna pretend it didn't exist. And as for the new SD Go body, the SD Go body is told to be one centimeter taller than the SD17. I don't see it being as buff as people have been talking about it. So I'm just kind of going eh at it, so it's also out of the question, though he, he does look pretty interesting, the um, but it's just not for me. So I'm totally ignoring the SD dolls this time around. Um, however, the DDs have hit me hard pretty much, and um, uh, the Didi Sakuya from the Shining series is, I really, really like her dress, but I'm not really sure I really like her face. Um, the character is kind of like, she has like a determined face originally, and um, I think the Didi version of her has a really, really soft face, and I'm just not interested in that, so I'm probably not going to get her. And um, as for the MDD Chirono, um, she has the new... Uh, MDD3 body, which I am kind of curious about. Um, however, she is re rather expensive for an MDD. I think she's the most expensive MDD up to date, and I'm just not going to bother because I don't want to spend too much on something small. So um, I have my, my 
heart set on hopefully getting the Persona 4 girl, which is, um, Misei, I think? Um, she actually has a face that's more SD-ish and not, um, a DVDD kind of face, so that's one of the main reasons why I kind of want her. I really like how she looks in general, I like how her eye is made, I like how she has a really, really nice lip. Um, I would just say she has an open mouth, She's her nose is actually not sharp like a standard DD's, it's actually more uh, realistic, and that's one of the main reasons why I really want her. So that's what I'm going to be hoping for, is that I get my hands on her, you say. I've actually gotten a, lot, a few friends to actually help me and try to get her, because I... I'm pretty desperate. I really want Rusei, so um, that's probably going to be the one thing that I want. As for the clothing then that's going to be released, I'm probably not going to buy any. They look nice, yes, but I noticed that I don't really like the book's quality anymore, um, and I'm just going to ignore it. Um, besides that, I guess nothing else. That was basically all of my BJ ranting before the day, I guess. So, I'm gonna cut off this video right now, and I'll probably see you guys sometime soon again, so bye-bye.